Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper Human Gate Recognition Using Patch Distribution Feature and Locality Constrained Group Sparse Representation. In this paper, we are going to concentrate on the Human Gate Recognition. Human Gate is an important biometric feature for human identification. Each and every individual has distinctive and special way of working. Our proposed methodology comes under the appearance-based approaches. Different types of features may be extracted from the given input silhouette. Now we are going to extract width and height value from the input silhouette. Then afterwards the silhouette should be converted to skeleton representation. Before that we have to do the blob reduction. By doing so, we can easily compute the width and height of the input silhouette. After getting the skeleton from the silhouette image, we are able to compute the joint angles. Joint angles may be computed with the help of the random transform. After doing this, in the subsequent pattern matching stage, some approaches exploit the silhouette shape and dynamics information. Here we are going to use the locally constrained group sparse representation for pattern matching. By the usage of appearance based approach we can reduce the dimensionality which in turn reduces time complexity. Now let us see the explanation for the data flow diagram. The first block is load silhouette. The given Test silhouette sequence is loaded here. It, it consists of so many silhouette frames. Now each and every silhouette frame is processed in a separate way in the following stages. Following this loading process, the next one is blob detection. Blob analysis is used to calculate the statistics for labeled regions in a binary image. The block returns quantities such as the centroid label matrix and blob count for bounding box measurements also. Come to the third block. It is nothing but determination of width and height. After enclosing the silhouette in a bounding box, we can easily estimate the width and height of the corresponding bounding box. That is nothing but the width and height of the given test silhouette image. Following this, we have to proceed to skeletonization. Skeletonization is done via morphological based skeletonization method. We have to do the skeletonization for the computation of joint angles. The next one is angle computation. The joint angles can be computed after transforming the segmented skeleton images to the radon transformation. The radon transform techniques is used for computing the joint angles. The given skeleton images now segmented into six different body parts. Now each and every body part is now given as an input to the radon transformation in addition to the reference segmented body part. After extracting the angle, next step is we have to store it in, in the form of feature vector. Now come to this pattern matching. Before that, the Silhotes collected in the database, they have to be processed in the steps. That means blob reduction, height and width estimation, skeletonization, followed by angle computation. All these features will be collected in the form of feature matrix. Now this feature matrix will be the input for this pattern matching. The another input is feature vector computed for the test silhote image. In this pattern matching we are going to use locality constraint group sparse representation by doing so we can easily reduce the dimensionality which in turn reduces time complexity finally we can obtain the recognition result that means the given silhouette sequences matched with the corresponding person that is available in the database so we can easily tell the matching result within a short duration of time now let us see the execution of our proposed implementation. This is the main file, gate main.m. Select the option run file. The input dialog box will be shown to you. You have to enter the person that you are going to recognize. Now I am going to enter 2. After entering the value 2, next press the button OK.
the corresponding sequence will be loaded automatically. The next thing is we have to process all the stages that is blob detection, feature computation, skeletonization will be processed for each and every frame in the selected sequence. Now the bounding box measurements will be shown in the command window also. Now this is the tracking result for the input gate sequence. The silhote will be enclosed in a bounding box. Actually this blob an analysis is essentially done for the computation of width and height for the given input silhote image. The rectangular box is called as the bounding box. It encloses the silhote. After this, the next step is it is nothing but the skeletonization. Skeletonization is done by means of morphological skeletonization process. We can easily see the difference between the input silhote and the skeleton. Now each and every skeleton of the silhote image is now going to be segmented into six body parts. Now you can see the segmented body parts here. For all the frames to be completed it will take much more time and we can see the result only after the execution of all the frames. Now let's see the results one by one. The first figure window it shows the selected silhote image that is enclosed in a bounding box. The second result is skeletonization, morphological skeletonization result. And a third one is segmentation of skeleton. Now the whole skeleton image is divided into six segments. So this will be useful for the computation of joint angles. After this, the gate cycle will be shown to you. Gate cycle is nothing but it's a plot representation between the two values, the computed width parameter and another one is frame index. Totally 24 frames we are having in the sequence. For each and every uh, frame, the width will be computed from the bounding box and it will be plotted here. After all the feature extraction process, the message box will be shown to you to display the completion stage. Now the final result is displayed in this dialog box. The test sequence is now recognized with the second person from the database. So it is now correctly recognized. Now see the recognition rate that is displayed in this command window. That means 95.83 percentage. And the execution time is also displayed here. By seeing all these results, we can tell our system will yield best performance when compared to the existing systems. Thank you.